Hello students, welcome to Saurabh Sir's classes. Today we are going to solve CAT 2017 question paper. In our last videos, we have solved questions up till 89. So now we are going to start with question number 90. So question number 90 says, if 9 to the power 2x minus 1 minus 81 to the power x minus 1 equal to 1944, then x is. Okay, so we need to find uh, uh, the value of x from this given equation. This sum seems quite difficult because we have two terms here that is 9 to the power 2x minus 1 minus 81 to the power x minus 1 equal to 1944 okay so let us do this in a very easier format so this can also be written as 9 to the power 2x minus 1 minus 81 as we know is 9 square 81 is equal to 9 square so 81 to the power x minus 1 can be written as 9 to the power 2x minus 2 which is equal to 19 to the power 44 so solving this further we have 9 to the power 2x here we have minus 1 so this one is minus 1 so minus 1 can be written as minus 1 can be written as 2 uh, minus 2 plus 1 so let us replace this here minus 2 plus 1 minus 9 to the power 2x minus 2 as it is equal to 19 to the power 44 so from here we can take 9 to the power 2x minus 1 2x minus 2 common here we have 9 to the power 2x minus 2 here also we have 9 to the power 2x minus 2 so let us take this common here so we will have 9 to the power 2x minus 2 common we are left with here 9 to the power 1 so this will be equal to 9 minus we are not left with anything here because we have taken everything common so we are left with only 1 which is equal to 1944 so this will be equal to 9 to the power 2x minus 2 into 9 minus 1 is 8 which is equal to 1944 therefore dividing both sides by 8 we will get 9 to the power 2x minus 2 this 8 and the 8 we are dividing from gets cancelled out so this will simply be equal to here we have 1944 so 1944 divided by 8 we will get 243 so let us write this here which is equal to 243 so we have 9 to the power 2x minus 2 equal to 243 so for finding this we need to use log so using log we can find this so let us put log on both sides so this will be log of 9 to the power 2x minus 2 which is equal to log of 243 so further solving this as we know that log here we have log a to the power b this can be written as b log of a so this is a general formula so we will proceed in this way only so this will be 2x minus 2 into log 9 which is equal to log 243 so further solving this we will divide both sides by log 9 so we are left with 2x minus 2 on left hand side here we have log 243 divided by log of 9 so solving this further we get 2x minus 2 which is equal to so as we know that 243 in terms of 3 we can write this 243 which is equal to 3 to the power 5 this is very simple as we know our rule only so this will be log 3 to the power 5 divided by we have log 9 so 9 is 3 square as simple as that so this will be 9 3 square so further solving this here we will have 2x minus 2 again we will take this power in front of log so this will be 5 log 3 and denominator also we have in power 2 so this will be 2 log of 3 so further solving this log 3 log 3 gets cancelled out so we are left with 2x minus 2 which is equal to 5 by 2 therefore here we have 2x equal to 5 by 2 plus 2 2 so further solving this we have 2x equal to 5 plus 4 by 2 this is equal to x equal to 9 by 2 into 1 by 2 which is equal to 9 by 4 so our value of x is 9 by 4 we needed the value of 9 on x only so our value has come up to 9 by 4 so let's check the options option number b matches with our answer hence option b is the correct answer to question number 90 so now let's move on to our next question that is Question number 91. So, question 91 says the number of solutions 
x y z to the equation x minus y minus z equal to 25 where x y z are positive integers such that x is less than equal to 40 y less than equal to 12 z less than equal to 12 okay so we have been given the upper limit of x y and z and we have been given a equation which is x minus y minus z equal to 25 so we need to find the total number of solutions to this equation so let us write our equation here which is x minus y minus z equal to 25 so adding both sides y plus z we get here we have 25 plus y plus z so since we have the upper limit of x y and z let's find the lower limit of these so for the lowest number of x and here we have x y z are positive integers so the lowest number of y and z can be one and one each so far the lowest we have 25 plus 1 plus 1 which is equal to 27 so our x has the lowest number 27 and has greatest number as 40 so our range of x is from 27 till 40 so this is our range of x so from this we can easily find the number of solutions for that let us draw a table where we will have a value of x from 27 till 40 so let this be our table here we have columns for x sorry let draw a straight line here we have columns for this one is for x this one is for y we have here y this one is for z and the last one is for total number of solutions so here we have okay so this one is for x this is for y this is for z this is number of solutions so now let's start with the value of x that is 27 so for x to be 27 and for this condition we can have values of y and z to be 1 and 1 only so that then only 27 minus y minus z equal to 25 when uh, a y and z are positive so it is only possible when y and z have values 1 and 1 so here we have total number of solutions is only one because we have only one option for y and z now our next one is 28 so this is 28 so for 28 our values to y and z can be 1 and 2 both so this can be 1 or 2 so when y is 1 z is 2 and y when y is 2 z is 1 so here we have total number of solutions that is 2 so our third number will be 29 so here we have three solutions that is 1 2 or 3 and for z we have 3 2 or 1 so here we have three number of solutions and so on we will go up till 49 or 30 or let's go till 38 so here we have 38 so for 38 our solutions can be 1 dot 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 till 12 because we have maximum number is 12 and 38 minus y minus z equal to 25 so 38 let y be 1 minus z equal to 25 so our value of z will be equal to 38 minus 1 minus 25 which is equal to 38 37 which is 12 so for y to be 1 z will be 12 therefore for y to be 2 z will be 11 and so on till y is equal to 12 z is equal to 1 so this is like this 1 to 12 here we have y 1 to 12 and our z will be from 12 comma dot 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 till 1 so total number of solutions here will be 12 our next number is 39 so for 39 similarly we will find the solutions so solutions will be from 2 till 12 and this will be from 12 till 2 so total number of solutions we have is 11 and our last and final number which is 40 because x can't be greater than 40 it can be equal to 40 so for 40 we have 3 comma dot 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 till 12 we have 12 comma till 3 so here we have total number of solutions is 10 so here is our total number of solutions in this column so let us add these up so adding the solutions our first is 1 then 2 then 3 plus dot 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 it will go till 12 then it will again decrease 11 plus 10 so 1 till 12 is we know that this will be 78 or you can simply add these as our old school method plus here we have 11 plus 10 which is 21 therefore this will be equal to 99 
So our total number of solutions is 99. Now let's check the options. So option number B matches with our answer. Hence, answer to this question is option number B. So I will like to end this video here. You will find solutions to the further questions in our next video.